Good morning, Tube Tribe. So I'm back in Montreal. It's been like a month since I've been doing a video. I'm sorry about that. I've been traveling super busy. I'm here in my new full body scanner. We just finished the, the setup. We're shooting in a few days for a cool project. Uh, I have uh, only 155 cameras around here going to go up to 200 and something within the next weeks. The last video that I published was with Von Wong and we showed some blurry pictures because the project was not live yet, so it is now. It's a very cool project about electronic waste. So go check this out, first link in the description below. And I wanted to give you an update about um, like what happened for us, Kim and I, we spent three more weeks in Uyuni, so it was our third time going there. That place is just crazy and you might be wondering like why are we always going there? Like, first time was in 2014, we didn't know about the tubes yet, we were just traveling, making cool pictures. And once, when we found about the tubes, like, it was obvious we needed to go back there, so we did last year. And we we get we got back there now in 2018 because we got like perfect perfect alignment the moon the blue hour giant moon set you know the story it's gonna come soon for those who saw the Instagram stories we failed but I think we managed to to do something cool anyway a uh, few few things. Um, I, there's gonna be there are gonna be a lot of videos coming soon. Next one uh, in a few days is going, is going to be about Fisher Tower in Moab. Still have a lot of videos about Dead Valley. We shot so many videos during that new trip in in Bolivia. Uh, short videos, a lot of tricks about the tubes and how we get prepared. So stay with us. <laughs> We're not done. We have. A lot, uh, lot of videos coming soon. I had a question from Martin. He says, hi, I have another simple question. You said you're using two Eagle TAC D25 SC2 technical and a T12 tube. The T12 available in Germany are 36 millimeter diameter. The flashlight has 22.5. Two are 45 millimeters. As I got this question quite often, I'm going to show you that, in fact, two Eagle tags together, that doesn't fit. So the trick is to use the power of your brain to invoke the gods and make something very special. You have to, you have, you have to squish it and then it fits. Okay, so it's very obvious if you have it in your hands, but if you're just looking at the specs, not that obvious, like it's not supposed to, to fit, but that tube is squishable. Is that a word? Squishable. So that's super easy to fit the tube Eagle Tac inside the tube. So far, no other flashlights has gone close to do that kind of things. I'm saying this, but I'm using T8 tubes a lot these days. So T8 means only one flashlight, works super great too. Less power, but easier to move around. It's what I use when I shoot at night after the blue hour. Also, something a bit different. You, you, if you've been in the group for a while, you know that triggers are like my least favorite part of equipment. I've had so many problems and I'm not this, the only one. That's a god, that's a it's a recurrent problem for a lot of uh, people in, in the group. That's the one I've been uh, recommending for, uh, for a long time. The young, new, whatever, the model, like the cheap, the cheap one at $30 for a pair. And that's the one I've been using for the past two years, which is like higher quality, much more expensive, but still a lot of problems with this one. Uh, I don't like the way it behaves and the, the bottom is very, I, I cannot shoot for more than, than a month and then I just destroy the button. So I'm back at Young New and now it's working well. But what I also did is that I used non rechargeable batteries and it's not that bad. I did 12 days shooting with those without changing the batteries and only at the last day, like I started to have some glitches. 
the communication was not good between this and the, the other unit on the camera. So yes, I'm back at Yongnu. I'm going to get rid of this one from my gear page. And that's about it for now. So we'll go back to more colorful videos in a few days.